Hey everybody, it's Jenna Allen with Mental Health Today and today we are going to talk about the texting when it comes to dating um, and what you can do to kind of um, in get the texting to be a lot better and how you can kind of like get him to text you more or maybe turn the texting into calling. Um, I know a few techniques that really, really work. Um, for me, personally, I'm a fan of calling more than I am texting. I would rather talk on the phone. That's just my own personal preference. Um, but I can give you a couple tips on how to get him to text you more and how to get him to maybe turn the texting into phone calls. So, men love... Men love um kind of what they think they can't have sometimes i mean i don't i don't play games i don't believe in reverse psychology i mean if you guys have watched my channel and my videos before you'll kind of know that i'm not into the whole reverse psychology game sort of thing but i also do believe in a little bit of a chase and i do believe that um when it comes to relationships you should be pursuing each other and i do believe that it's super important to um communicate and be able to be on the same page um so what what i would recommend i'll give you guys a couple tips um is if he's really like there's a if he's at work that's different um but if he's like not working and he's being short with you and he's not really texting you back or he's taking days to um text you back don't text them. Don't, um, I mean, it depends on your situation, right? Like if you're seeing a guy and you haven't heard from him in days at that point, um, I would be like, I would message him cause I'm not somebody that beats around the bush. I'm somebody that will call someone out. Um, at that point I would call him out and be like, look, I haven't heard from you in days. Um, I've decided to pursue other things elsewhere. Um, and make him realize that like you're not just going to settle and that's so so important like having that self-respect is so important um and kind of like train them to call you like train them to text you and call you right so um another thing i would recommend and like i said it really depends on your situation like if you guys are aware of you guys liking each other but he's short answered then don't text him back. Don't text him back. If he's being short, don't text him back for a while. And I would honestly, maybe when you do text him back, be like, hey, be like, hey, um, I think it would be a good idea for us to have a phone call with a little winky face. Um, or, or don't even, or just like, just be like, you know, it would make me really happy if we could have a phone call. Like, something like that, because guys love being able to make their woman happy, too. And they, they you know, men, men are a little bit slower when it comes to these things. Um, so, that is another thing I would recommend. And, like, for me, if, so what I do is, like, if my boyfriend doesn't, um, if my boyfriend doesn't, like, text me right away I'm fine because I know he's working and stuff um and me and my boyfriend are more like we we're not really big texters like we prefer phone calling on the phone or like we see each other a few times a week anyways so but when we first started dating I did this thing where I was just very br like brutally honest with him and told him like kind of how I felt and I just said look like I'm not a big texter like if you want to get to know me then you can call me so and that worked and now he calls me like every night. So it really depends on the kind of person you are. But like for me, I personally rather just be brutally honest with them. Um, because sometimes like men really appreciate honest women. They appreciate like, it's, it's important to just kind of like tell them what your expectations are because men don't really think about stuff like that. They're just, they're, like I said, they're a little bit slower when it comes to this stuff. So um, yeah, and now my boyfriend calls me like every night and like, if he's sh being like shitty at texting, I'm kind of like, 
I just don't really put we kind of match each other's energy so like if he's not putting in much effort into texting I don't either and then that kind of like makes him think oh shit I should try something and I've noticed that the when I, when I do that he's he's now trying to find things to talk about like he puts like he's when I match his energy he puts in more effort and so like that works for me I don't know if that'll work for you but I know personally when it comes to texting and calling, I think matching each other's energy is really important because it kind of like, because guys don't really like, they don't like having nothing to talk about either. They like being able to hold a conversation. And so I'm able to kind of do that with my boyfriend is like, I'll, if he's, we kind of help each other in that way. Like if he doesn't know what to talk about, I'll bring up a subject and we'll talk about it. Or like, if I'm don't know what to talk about, he'll like try and start a conversation. So like, Every relationship is different. Every person is different. But personally, that's what worked for us. Um, but yeah, I think that, I don't know, just matching each other's energy and just don't play games. Just be honest about what you want. Be honest about the kind. Of, and and when, it, when it comes to work, definitely be understanding. Like if your guy's at work, you can't expect him to like be focused on you because we all have to work. You know, it's part of life. So... I definitely wouldn't be one of those girls that is like overthinks the whole texting when especially when they're working because guys when they're at work that's all they're focused on really right um so just be understanding of that um i will also be coming out with a video on how to stop overthinking when it comes to dating because i am the queen of overthinking and i i will tell you kind of what works for me like no one's perfect but i want to do a video on that because I think that would be really really good as well um but yeah that's all I have for you guys today but um I'll talk to you guys next time on mental health today bye